Hello, very nice to meet you here. My name is Ho Han Kier. I'm an associate professor at the Department of Pharmacy. And since uh, 2016, four years plus ago, I joined the USP program as a joint fellow. And the main reason for doing that is to offer a module for USP students entitled Homicis and Life. You have some questions for me? Let's take a look. First question. What is homesis? I'm expecting this question, but before I give you my answer, let me throw the question back at you. What is homesis to you? You can try to Google it right now and see what kind of answers you get. You know, I'm not surprised that many of you are shaking your head. You've never heard of this word before in your entire life. Neither have I 10 years ago. But today, it means a lot to me. Homesis is actually a word that is very hard to explain, but very easy to illustrate. All I need is to tell you this phrase. What doesn't kill you, make you stronger. That is homesis. What doesn't kill you, make you stronger is a philosophy that we adopt for life. But do you know that this phrase is actually grounded in scientific principle? In this module, that's what I'm going to talk about to explain the whole concept of homicis, historical example as well as modern day example to show you that actually there are many things in life that exhibit this phenomenon whereby when you experience a low dose of a certain stress on your system, on your body, it may actually build your system up to make you stronger. This is what adaptation is all about. And yet, if you push that stress beyond a certain limit, then everything will start to go downhill and it will exert its damaging effect on your body. So homicis is all about understanding this dichotomous relationship where something is good at low dose, but it can be bad at very high dose. Let's move on. Your next question for me is, well, so is homicis good for you? Well, absolutely, which is why I think it is important for me to share some of what I know with the students in the USP program. And I think the, the benefit of homicis is when you can apply it to different types of stress in life. Let me give you an example. Homicis is why we build muscles, because when you subject your muscles to stress, that stress will condition your muscle and stimulate it to grow even stronger muscles in time to come. Which is why when you lift weights, when you go for a run longer than when you ever did, you will find that at the end of that exercise regime, your muscle will feel sore, you feel tired, and the next day, you will feel aching all over. But this is all part of that conditioning. Because when you subject your muscle to a stress beyond what it can carry, it is going to feel pain. But it is only through that pain that it stimulates your system to recover in time and you become stronger. Therefore, it is good for you. Another thing I can think of is exactly why we are here. It has to do with uh, immunity. Immunity against whatever uh, pathogens, bacteria, viruses that is around us. Well, do you know that if you abstain yourself, if you hide away from people where you have no exposure to any uh, germs, actually, your immune system will be weaker. How did our immune system get stronger? It is when we are constantly exposed to a low dose of something that may cause us infection. And because of the presence of all these bacteria that is a stress to our body, it forced our immune system to respond to develop antibody and other immune cells in order to fight this bacteria. And for this reason, what doesn't kill you, make you stronger. So, I believe for these reasons, homicis is good for you and it's up to us to discover what else can it be applied to. Let's move on. How do we apply homicis to life? Well, the reason why I introduced this module is to allow students to see that the concept of homicis can be very wide-ranging. I begin from where I'm most familiar with, which is to talk about 
medicines, poisons and substances that may harm our body at times. But we hope that through understanding the concept that at certain doses, a stress can become good, can be good for you, we hope that students will be able to take this on a different tangent down the line of where, uh, what they are learning in their respective field of studies. And further, further than that, I hope that they will also see this as a way for them to view life differently. Should we avoid all the stress that we face in our daily lives? Is studying hard for exam really such a bad thing that we have to avoid and to minimize as much as possible? Can we actually gain new skills and ability or even resilience to cope with life challenges if we put ourselves through the rigor of studying hard when it is time to do so? In short, I hope our students will be able to see that, hey, this module is really about building life skills. To gain a new perspective about life and to handle life stresses that may come in different directions with new energy and new strength. So, uh, take, make this the, your philo own philosophy of life and that you will gain things beyond what you can imagine today. Finally, why did you choose to teach at USP? Ha! Ah, a very good self-reflection question. Well, if I can recall, uh, three years ago or almost four years ago, I started teaching this module. I was asking myself that very same question. I teach pharmacy, I teach pharmaceutical science. I talk, I talk about poisons and drugs uh, to my students all the time. But how do I make that same knowledge useful to someone from a different uh, field of study? So uh, I decided that maybe what I need is to put myself in that position of stress and leave out that stress as an example for others. So I decided to take on this challenge, join the USB program and attempt to teach pharmacy and toxicity and things like that to people who has no clue about what I'm talking about. And I thought in that whole process, maybe I will also grow as an individual and I'll learn how to make uh, uh, knowledge sensible and useful for people outside the domain. And if I can become successful, then I would have gained something valuable for myself. So that's all I want to share with you. You know, uh, it's a short sharing and I hope it gives you a little a glimpse into what a student in USP program is really like. It's about being in a class of very diverse environment, uh, listening and engaging in discussion where perhaps half the time you got no clue what that whole content knowledge is all about. But it is when everyone struggles through together that you find this intellectual discourse especially enlightening and fun. So do join us on this journey and discover your, for yourself what you can be in the USB program.